I seem to recall that the, at first we weren't even credited. Our names weren't even on the roll for the first, for the first, uh, uh, for the first few months. I'm not even sure that's possible anymore. But uh, but uh, finally we were hired as officially got our title story editor, and uh, it began a six-year run there. We were newbie writers. We were we would just followed orders and let other people, let other people have the vision. Um, uh, when we started, the exec producers were um, Jay Moriarty and Mike Milligan, these great guys. Uh, but then, after our first year there, they left, and uh, Ron Levitt and Michael Moy came in, who would later go on to create Married with Children. And they were just they were just great guys. They were fun to be around, and uh, um, and we had a great time there. But uh, and it was a great job. It was a great entry level job. Uh, but I think early on, Peter and I su suspected that you know just we were there because it was a job, and we were damn lucky to have it. But on some level, it just wasn't satisfying to us. And it wasn't until later that I was really able to, to sort of pinpoint what it was. And one was that, uh, uh, one was that we really didn't have, uh, I, I didn't have a voice for certain for a certain um, uh, part of my personality. And it wasn't really until I got to Diane Chambers that I had a <laughs> that I had a character that you know because I got a head that's filled with useless musical and theater and um, and historical information and and I really didn't have I didn't have a I didn't have a voice. We were good at writing the Jeffersons, but with the exception of maybe Mr. Bentley, but you know there was a certain buffoonery about that. So there wasn't really uh, we were having just trouble just feeling really fulfilled writing for the show. So. How was the show viewed by other writers in the industry at the time? Oh, not well, not well. Um, it was one of those successes, but that nobody really took anybody who wrote on it seriously. And uh, candidly, um, with, with some justification, I mean, uh, there was an, um, uh, I look back at them now and I'm sort of embarrassed to have my name on some of them because uh, the writing just wasn't that great. And one of the reasons was is that there was this sense of when the clock reaches 6 o'clock, you go home, no matter what shape the script is in. Um, and uh, it, no matter if somebody had an idea that might make it better, you, you went home, you were done. And I remember if a script was really in trouble and we had to stay until 9 o'clock or something, everybody was freaking out. Um, <laughs> cut to <laughs> in the future when I learned a quite different way of, that there was to do television.